Can't wait to share with you today's DIY because it really just shows you how much a coat of paint can do. Like it's completely transformed this piece. Hey, I'm Janelle and this is to DIY for. So this week's piece was $15 off Facebook Marketplace. I loved the cheap price, but I also loved that it was a really good solid build. Like it's a thick, heavy piece and you know it was built good so if you're going to be refinishing furniture and spending the time doing it make sure that it's a quality piece i would say keep that in mind and if you want to resell it like i'm doing today just make sure that it's something that will work for a lot of people what i loved about this piece is that it's an entryway bench and i was able to maximize the storage by adding in more shelves for shoes and everybody loves this kind of stuff to have at your entryway if you don't have a closet you definitely need some something like this. So that's what drew me to this piece. And I have already put it up on Facebook Marketplace and had over like 20 people ask me about it. I'm sure it's gonna be sold like that. So let me show you how I did the transformation. It's time consuming, but it's pretty easy to do. First things first, toss that nasty cushion that this thing had on it. Uh, not even salvageable, we're not gonna keep that. We're gonna create something new for this. I sanded down the entire piece. Uh, you know the drill with kind of refinishing furniture. I went at it with, uh, I believe, 180 sandpaper. You go back with around 220 to make it a little bit smoother, but you don't have to worry about taking everything off. We're just taking off that initial finish for the paint to adhere. So I wanted to add in some shelves. Um, I had previously done a cube shelf and created shoe storage for us in our front closet and I added shelves in between the cubes and that's just because these are you know deep enough or they're long enough so that you can actually stack two pairs on top of each other so I originally wanted to add two shelves on the outer boxes but it didn't make sense there's some weird indents in those and it wasn't going to be easy to cut the shelf to fit so I went with the middle option here I've cut that out of half inch plywood and as you can see using some canned goods to prop it up this was actually perfect because it was center for these boxes i made sure to drill pilot holes first and then i screwed that into place i also had to use some wood filler on this in certain areas to fill out a few holes and marks once that dried i sanded down wiped this thing completely and i got to work with a coat of primer now i normally paint a lot of my pieces black and you probably wouldn't need a primer if you're doing a dark color but surprise, surprise, I'm actually painting this like an off-white color. This is the color, Taylor's Chalk from Bear. It's a warm white, and I only needed to use two samples for this, so it was $10 in paint after I did the initial primer. I did two coats of paint. One thing I didn't get on camera was the fact that I also did a uh, clear coat of polyurethane across the entire thing when I was finished as well. So to finish this whole piece off, I'm doing the class classic pillow. This is like the easiest thing to do with hot glue and a rug. I picked this one up at the dollar store, so really inexpensive. I'm going to grab an old pillow here, grab the stuffing from it, fill it all up. Um, I've got those two sides glued down, and then we're going to glue the final hole shut here and pinch it closed. And I'm telling you, this glue holds really well, and it is the easiest way to create a cute accent pillow. This one worked out perfect too because it stretches along the entire backside of this um, bench and I think it looks really cute in those neutral tones and this is the completed bench amazing right I mean this thing looks so much better than it did when I picked it up. It didn't cost too much to fix up. Again, it is just a little bit of a labor intensive process as there's three coats of paint on here. On top, another uh, clear coat, and then all of the sanding is a bit of work. But let me know what you thought of the final project. I'll be back next week with another DIY. Cheers.